In this video today, we will be covering the tutorial, how to do combos, how to unlock more moves. We'll take a look at the park, the friend board, and the settings board. Expect the tutorial to change at some point in the future because we have heard from the devs that they are working on revamping it. But until that time, let's take a look at the tutorial. Now when you first open Rumble, you will be greeted by a tutorial slab asking you to complete some assignments. These assignments include performing three moves, straight, disc, and pillar, and then defeat Howard the sparring bot. In order to progress the tutorial, let's focus on casting straight, disc, and pillar. With straight, you will need to assume this pose shown by three different angles. Now with disc, it's a two-parter because we got to start down here and then go to the pose to spawn the structure. So, first three for spawning any structure, and then the disc pose. Doesn't matter how you go between getting from point A to point B, just make sure that you do it within enough time. Same thing with pillar. We're going to start down here and then go to the structure spawn pose shown here. When you first enter rumble, you'll be standing right here. If we head into the combat study, you will find yourself at the pose board. This pose board helps train you and show you how to spawn certain objects or cast certain moves. So, the circle that counts down is how much time you have when you remove your hands from the lower position. So even though it's out, as long as within that timer amount, I still move it to the second pose, it'll hit it. The red circle in the front is the view direction. You can still look up and down. That's not quite right. But left and right, you're restricted by. Now, there's you can spawn structures, but you can also change the board's page. There's three pages. And now we're on to modifiers. So with a straight, it shows it like that. But if you notice, it's you don't need your hand exactly within it. There's a degree of acceptance. So your board won't look exactly like this one. There'll be moves sort of like scratched out or grayed out. You'll gotta unlock them. We'll get to that. There's lots of tools and videos out there to help out with learning each of the poses like this one here by yeah i'm backwards there's the rumble buckethead server on discord and there's even a wiki i'll make sure to link them all down below this is howard's yard and howard howard's a jerk now we need to defeat howard and first we gotta turn him on so let's start with level one just because we're new. Let's just see what we got. So we turn him on. And we go fight him. He gets a health bar. He starts spawning stuff. I'm cheating right now just because I'm using more moves than what he's got access to. But the name of the game is just to hit him with enough things that it depletes his health bar. when it does, sort of powers down, reboots, heals, and continues. That's going to be how you defeat Howard. There's no end that makes him go back to the beginning other than turning him off. But that won't complete the tutorial. When working with Howard, it is important to remember when you change the level, you can change it, continue to change it until you actually let go. Then you'll have to wait till he does his powering up and goes back to neutral. Then you can turn him on. 
otherwise you can't grab the handle like how I had to wait for him to hit center before I can grab the handle And so we have beaten the tutorial. Now you will be asked to punch the rock. Hey, 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 chill, chill. Friendly, friendly. Yeah, Howard's a jerk. Oh, what's happening? There we go. Yeah, go back to your hut. Um, so at that point, just break the tutorial by punching it. Some players sadly have had it where it won't break. Just restart your game and it will go away. Now let's talk about combos. Combos are when you hit multiple poses in rapid succession to apply multiple modifiers to an existing structure. This will allow that structure to move faster and farther than a singular modifier. Right away you have access to Disc straight, and pillar, pillar punch. There are better combos out there, like straight uppercut. Gives it a nice rotation and while moving it forward quickly. Just two poses, but moves fast. Then you got other ones that are like kick, uppercut, and straight. And that'll allow a block to fly up and over structures on the ground and possibly go farther. You will need to experiment with each move to find what is viable in what situations. Starting from right here, let's head on over to the shift stones. Shift stones will change up something about combat, such as the bigger stone will give you some health when you land hits. The guard stone will make it so that you have a circle of protection that'll block objects, but you'll still get some damage. Flow stone, which will give you another dash or jump in the air. Stubborn stone, which when you dash or jump, shortly after, you are immune to knockback. Charge stone, when you're holding an object for, I think it's a second, it'll have an increased punch, or mo the next modifier will be increased. Volatile stone will have your explode be stronger for structures and players. The surge stone and the adamant stone, well, surge stone is going to be where when you hit an enemy, you have a timer. The more damage you deal to them, the longer the timer. Same thing for adamant, but it blocks damage instead of dealing extra. We've beat the tutorial now to talk about the region board the region board is where you select your area that you want to play in to find nearby players right now there's a little bit of a low player count so we all tend to jump on us east at least for the us players europe for the european ones and australia for the very few australian players shout out to shoeless Great content creator. I'll link them down below. Then, right after selecting your region, you'll want to walk right over to this board and put on any rank, same rank, one rank, two ranks, three ranks, difference, or friends only. And then pull the matchmaking lever. You'll hear some dinging and it'll find a match. If you're waiting for a match, guarantee you'll be host. If you get an instant queue, or a very short queue, there is a chance you're now going to be client side. But, every time you rematch the same player, it will swap host. So by doing matchmaking, you will earn BP. And BP is earned with 1 for a disconnect, 2 for a loss, and 5 for a win. The higher your BP, the higher your belts will be. It's around 260-something 
I believe, to hit Black Belt. So it doesn't take long to unlock all your moves. But when you do rank up, you will have this thing right here. And it's a totem dispenser. You pull the lever when that says totems one or something. A totem will pop up. It looks like a little dumbbell. You grab it. It'll walk all the way over here and set it right here. And then it looks like that. It'll pull it in and you'll unlock more moves. Make sure you actually select each move on each page. This light will look yellow if you do have something new. Now, starting from right here, we will talk about the park. This is the park board, and it's how you set up private instances or public instances of parks. Make sure when you are looking for a park, you actually hit that button. If there's a park available, and you just flip it over to join park, it won't populate with a possible park. You have to wait till the board fully rotates and then hit the button. Eventually, if one does populate, like someone starts one, it should automatically populate if you've already hit that button. Once you find a park and tap it, or use an invite for one, or make your own, you can have up to six people in a park. You can make it private or public. And then head in to the gondola. And it'll spawn you in the park. Now inside the park, you'll find you have a friend board. And you have another park board. This park board looks slightly different. This button will remove any existing structures and respawn all the big gray boulders in the park. Womp. You got your fighters oh you got your fighters list that will show everyone in the park. And then you also have mini games. And I very much suggest y'all try out at least each of these mini games once. Honestly, my favorite is Crag Tag. It's like King of the Hill, except the hill is a player. You tag or you get the you're it when you hit who's it with a structure and you got rock race where you're just racing between different little zones and trying to uh, hit them first and then you got mountain king which is king of the hill and you try to stand within it for a long period of time and then you get a point when you capture it and then it changes areas but yeah this is the park you got a sparring ring over here, you got little punching bags. You got basketball. And yes, it does make a ding. And then, one of the best features of the park. Gotta run over to it. Is a freaking slide. Let's go. Woohoo! Wee! If you've been talking to someone, say on Discord, or you have their ID, go ahead and tap right here, and then look at your monitor at the Rumble game. You should see a place to paste in their friend code and hit submit. Once that happens, a name will pop up right here go ahead and tap that name and then hold down send friend request it'll show a little loading icon and it'll send once it sends they will get a phone call ring they need to pull up on their lever on the right for notifications tap on your friend request and hold down send friend request once that's done you can both friend queue after all is said and done, you might find some things you might want to tweak, and we want to head through the combat study and look at this board. This board is the settings board. We got all the different control types from uh, layout of the stick movement being able to be swapped, stick rotation type, I prefer smooth turn, everyone starts on snap turn, 
smooth rotation speed I feel is a little slow sometimes, so I have it max. Stick use stick rotate. Yes, I don't want to just have to physically rotate my body. Dead zones and stuff. Then we got all the different visuals where you can have more simple ones. The effect of rumble intensity. If you get motion sick, then turn it down. Opening sequence, I like to skip just to get in game quicker because I want to play. Got your different audios, voice chat volume, um, music volume, master, sound effect. And then, speaking of voice chat, make sure you enable it if you do want to talk. Either push your talk or open mic, at least for me running an index. It is the A button on the right controller you want to hold down while talking to transmit your voice. Otherwise, just roll with open mic, but yeah. And then you got the social page where you can st prevent strangers from sending you park invites or friend requests and things like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that share button. I'll see you guys in the ring.